Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Paper Craft Secrets. Today I'm sharing a set of five quick and easy cards using the uniquely creative Holly Jolly collection. These cards are perfect for sending in the mail. They are quick to make, they are flat and they also have matching envelopes that I have decorated as well. Let's take a look at how I made these cards. I'm combining the Holly Jolly 6x6 paper pack with the Kayser Craft 10 pack of white cards and envelopes. These cards I'm keeping very clean and very simple. You need to choose five pieces of paper from the stack, the 6x6 Holly Jolly stack of paper. And you're going to cut each of these papers at two and a half inches. I have also used the uniquely creative glitter, gold glitter tape to decorate the top of the rectangle piece of paper. So it's very simple, just a simple rectangle with a line of glitter tape across the top. And that is the base for our cards. We're just going to glue those onto the front of the card base and we leave a small white border around the paper. Now these cards are very quick and easy because once you've got this base done, all you need to do now is use the creative cuts as your main part of decoration for the cards. If you wanted to make more of these very simple cards, just get double the packet of creative cuts because it's quick and it's easy and they're done before you even know it. I started each design with one image and one sentiment. This is a this is a bulk set of cards and so they all follow the same design principles. I'm just gluing on the image with some liquid glue. I've added a little bow on top with some foam dots. I'm adding the sentiment onto the card with some foam dots and a little bit of glue because it's going over the top of the glitter tape so I just want to make sure that that's going to stick down. I've added a little star and then I've added some gold embellishments and these are uniquely creative gold embellishments. And that's our first card. Let's move on to our second card now. Gluing down the Santa. Gluing down another image on the other side of the sentiment. I did use a Holly and Ivy die cut and I cut it out of the green paper from the pad to create a little die cut leaves for the poinsettia flower. Here I am just putting some foam dots on the back of the sentiment. Adhering the sentiment to the center of the card. Then I am layering the die cut leaves on top of the present and then adding the poinsettia flower on top. I'm going to continue with the three gold embellishments down the side of the card. And I'm going to add one gold embellishment to the center of the poinsettia flower. 
and that's card two done. Let's move on to card number three. I did fussy cut these poinsettias from one of the pages in the paper pad. So here we are gluing down the Christmas tree image, gluing down the present image, and then adding the sentiment in the middle. We've also got a die cut leaves. and our poinsettia flower on top of those leaves. And then we embellish with the gold embellishments, three down the side there, and one in the center of the poinsettia flower. Moving on to the next card now, starting with gluing down the image, we're going to layer the leaf die cut just on top of the image there with some liquid glue, going to use some foam dots for the sentiment Pop that on and then our little poinsettia flower in the middle and an extra little star from the creative cuts. Embellishing with the gold embellishments three coming down from the side of the card and moving on to the next card now this one we're going to add in some holly and ivy from the creative cuts we're going to add the die cut Adding in the center the poinsettia flower and the sentiment with the foam dots embellishing again with some gold dot gold embellishments that ties in with the gold tape, washi tape. One in the center of the flower there. Now we're going to move on to decorating the inside of each card. And I cut papers to fit the inside of each card. And the measurement for that is four and one eighth of an inch. I chose papers that could be written on over the top so the pattern was as subtle as I could find because I know that people will be writing on the inside of these cards. And then I just glued each one inside the card The next step was to choose some sentiments for the inside of the cards and I continued with the glitter tape on the inside to match the outside of the cards. 
and then I glued the sentiment down over the top of the glitter tape. For that card I just used the word Christmas, that was from the Creative Cuts. More glitter tape on this card with another sentiment. And that's the inside of all the cards decorated and plenty of room for people to write a Christmas message in those cards and now it's time to move on to decorating the envelopes. You can see that these cards do fit easily into a regular envelope so they will be able to be posted in the mail. So I thought it would be nice to give the envelopes a little bit of decoration. So to decorate your envelope just choose a piece of paper from the 6x6 paper stack. Place the envelope over the top and trace around the outside with a pen then you just simply cut along that line nice and carefully and then that slips inside the envelope and you just need to position it so that it's in a nice even space and that allows for the stickiness on the envelope to still be um, able to be used to stick the envelope down. So once you have um, put popped an insert into each of those envelopes. It's now on to decorating the front of the envelope. So the next step is to take the essentials cut apart sentiments and the cut apart die. I'm just going to pop that through the die cutting machine and this will cut out all the sentiments for us that we can use on the cards. And I've just decorated the front of the envelope very, very simply um, because I'm assuming that people will want to post these cards so I know that they want things to be easy to post. So this is just finishing off an insert into the last envelope. Just sticking that down, folding that over. And then I'm going to decorate the front of the car, the envelope and this is very very simple with a sentiment from the cut apart sheet, some more of the gold glitter tape and a couple of poinsettia flowers just to add a little bit of sparkle to the front of the envelope. Also use a little star cookie cutter from the creative cuts on this one so you can use whatever you've got just something little for a little bit of decoration and that is the envelopes finished I hope you enjoyed this tutorial for a set of five Christmas cards using Uniquely Creative's Holly Jolly collection. These cards are fabulous for sending in the mail to loved ones over Christmas. 
Stay tuned for the second video in this series where I create a more detailed set of five cards that's coming up soon. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely crafty day.